Uh, the weather is bad today, so oh, how we wish we have time to do all that we want to do. I think maybe we have to rush this uh, video quickly because the rains are here. So let's let, let's go on board the board and let's have the, this. We're going to do this shoot briefly. We we'll talk about the grasses that we feed the rabbits with. We 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 say that rabbits are herbivorous mammals. They feed on grass land vegetative materials so for instance these are some of the we've sampled some of the grasses here these are the things that we give to our rabbits now you see the weather here it rains here quite often so in the days where we have consistent rain like it's raining it can rain here for um, continuously for about two weeks non-stop so in that case there we have to supplement we have to get some concentrate so as we speak now, in fact, it is today we have clear weather, but the rains are coming again. So when we have continuous rain, then we do some concentrate. We also do some concentrate for uh, the winning ones, because once the mothers give birth, the does give birth, we give them grass with concentrate. So with the concentrate, that's, that is just to help the young ones, you know. So uh, let, let's go on the board and let's do something briefly on the board. We, we talk about the basic the rabbit basic nutritional needs and then we say that rabbits uh, for maximum growth rabbit need carbohydrates protein fat fiber vitamins minerals and then water these are the things that the re rabbits require to grow and to grow very well so all these things need to feature in the rabbit diet they all come in specific measures uh, i think that the second video we will look at how to break those things down and then here we have the napier and then the elephant grass all those ones in the grass family they are good they have high fiber content then we have the legumes the legumes you know are rich in protein uh, we have dandelion we have the stingy nettle we have the cabbage leaves we have the potato vines, we have the stylo, we have the triders. Now, for the cereal herbs, the napier, the elephant, and the rest, they are high in fiber, like I said, and then there's some amount of protein, some amount of uh, amino acid in the cereal herbs. But then you need to give it to the rabbit before flowering. When you do so, then it means that you retain that component that makes for maximum growth. Here we talk about the Moringa. And then it is one thing that we would always say that rabbit farmers should make sure that Moringa is always part of their field. We have planted Moringa all over here. It's because of the rains, else we would have just gone on the field and show you uh, what, what we have done, the kind of things we planted around here. So we don't go distant far. We get all these our plants within this catchment area and then we give it to our rabbits. We say the moringa, moringa, the leaves, the bark, the roots, they are all very useful. The leaves, the bark, the roots are all useful. Now, for moringa, moringa is a high source of protein. We, you get fiber, you get vitamins, and then you get minerals. All from the moringa leaves, the moringa plant. Now, moringa also is a growth booster. So when you give moringa to your rabbit, it helps them to grow and they grow very well. It reduces inflammation and then increases fertility. That is one thing the rabbit a, a Moringa does. Also, it increases digestibility. Uh, there's one plant also, the tree. We have also, we've grown them all around here. We call it Subaru. Also high in protein. Subaru. Also high in protein. And when we go in, I think we'll show you that plant. We'll show you that plant. And it is so common. I think we should get this one too. So let's go on the table and then sample some of these things. So we have the elephant grass, which is also, this is, this one gives so much uh, fiber. So we feed them fresh and then we feed them dry. When you feed them dry, it's good. It's a high source of fiber. And when you feed them fresh, it's also good. But 
at all times you need the dry one even to mix with the fresh one it's very very important so we have this grass here we have the purple leaves also which is very good for the rabbits the purple leaves which everybody knows about the purple leaves uh, we are rushing because of the weather like i said then we have this uh, this vine it also sprays this is one of the things we give to them very you can watch the flowers also high in uh, rich in protein and also some vitamins this one is common everybody knows this uh, we call it the rabbit milk juice. the juice everybody knows about this plant very very important we have the tridas also very good for the rabbit you can identify it by the flowers this is the tridas another rich um, distant plant for the rabbit we have the potato vine we have the potato farms here so we all these ones are just we just pick them from within our yard here we don't go far so this is a potato vine uh, we have dandelion which is also very good for the rabbit we have the dandelion we have this spinach also the rinse is almost here now we have the spinach also uh, which we feed our rabbit with uh, we have the cabbage leaf we have a cabbage farms also here and that's where we pick it these are cabbage leaves then we have the plantain and then the banana leaves we have the farms right here so these are plantain plantain and then banana now this one grows in the water very high, high this is very rich in uh, what we call it rich in fiber and then protein we they grow in the water so we have it right in our water here we have um, this is a corn uh, stack maize also very very good rich in minerals and then we have the this bamboo the bamboo leaves also very good for the rabbits we are rushing because of the rain we are sorry about that but i hope next time yeah this is the singing nettle i spoke about this in excessively on the um on that uh, uh, the first video singing nettle you can identify by this it has some tones the leaves you just you just take off the leaves for them and they enjoy it so 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 much and uh what do we have again i think we have exhausted the, this here okay so we will so this is it so we are sorry in fact we how we wish you have the time to uh go over this but i think this will just be the first version the second one we will go on the field and then we will take everybody through so you go you walk with us on the in the bush so that you see how we get them and how we harvest them and how we prepare them for the rabbit i right, saw so the second version will be more explanatory because we are going to go deep and then we would actually come out with the uh, nutritional content and then how to even apply them the application of this one you some of them you don't just go cut them fresh and you give them and even if you want to combine them which and which would do for a good combination that will meet the, the rabbit requirement so thank you very much and then this is where we'll end this one so watch out for the second video you will get it on rabbits and more thank you very much and god bless all of you thank